Extreme Trends presents A nurse finds an abandoned baby in a hospital and then screams in horror when she lifts his blanket. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. It is hard to imagine that any parent would abandon their child unless they had a good reason for doing so. Some parents who believed that their life circumstances could harm their child's present and future well-being, and they decide to give their child up for adoption, or perhaps ask another family member who is better off to raise them. In some cases, a parent may be a danger to his or her child, and authorities step in to place the child in a safer environment. But in some situations, a parent decides not to keep the child and just abandons him, perhaps because of what the child represents, or what he looks like, or the challenges that may come with raising him. That is the story of Gabe Adams, a child rejected by his mother, who found true parents would help him overcome the steepest of obstacles. At a hospital in Brazil, a mother had given birth to a baby boy. She saw what her son looked like and then immediately left the hospital as soon as she could, leaving the baby behind. The baby boy did not look like any other ordinary baby, and perhaps because of fear or shame or an inability to take on the burdens that the child's care would entail, she decided to abandon him. When a nurse found the baby all alone in the hospital room, she lifted his blanket up and then screamed at what she saw. The two-day-old baby was completely limbless. The infant given the name Gabe had been born with a rare disease, a congenital defect called Hanhart syndrome. This disease impacts its victims in different ways. Some people with Hanhart syndrome will have a shortened tongue, while others will have partially missing toes and fingers. Malformed arms, legs, and jaws are also potential signifiers of this condition. In Gabe's case, he was born without any arms or legs. This rare developmental disorder affects males and females equally, and fewer than 1 in 20,000 children develop this disease. The future did not look promising for Gabe. He was sent to an orphanage, and there people assumed he would have a life confined to a bed. No one thought he had a chance to be adopted. Not only did Gabe look different from the other available children, but a significant amount of home and medical care would have to be assumed by whoever adopted him. The orphanage operators couldn't imagine that anyone would have the heart to take in this child. Hundreds of miles away in Utah, Janelle Adams was grocery shopping when she saw an article about a Brazilian baby born without limbs. She was moved by the child's plight and wanted to do something to help him. Adams went home to her computer to learn more about the child and found that she increasingly could not stop thinking about him. She realized that she wanted to adopt Gabe and give him a loving home. It was a heavy decision to be entered into, and Adams consulted with her husband, Ron. They had raised 13 biological children together, and most of them were grown and out of the house. At 58 years old, did they both want to bring an infant into their lives again? And not just any infant, but a special needs child? We had our concerns, but I couldn't stop thinking about the sweet little boy so far away without arms, legs, or a family. Adams recalled. Finally, Adams and her husband agreed that giving this child a loving family and a chance to live his life to the fullest was the right thing to do. Adams went about tracking down the orphanage where Gabe was staying. It was neither swift nor easy, but after the legalities and paperwork were completed, Gabe was sent to the United States. Janelle and Ron waited eagerly to meet their new son at the airport, and when they saw him, they did not see his imperfections. They only saw his capacity to love. Life was a struggle at times for Gabe, but he didn't let any of his physical challenges slow him down. For most of his life, he faced huge battles, said Adams. It took him a whole year to learn how to walk, but he didn't give up. It's the same with dancing. He just kept trying. That meant that there was some tough moments, such as when he was mocked and bullied at school for his disability. Gabe remembered a time in art class when students were instructed to critique their partner's work. This kid said to me, it looked like God made a mistake on you. I went home that day and I was crushed. I couldn't get that out of my head, Gabe explained. However, Gabe would not let those detractors stop him from living his best life, no matter how much their words hurt. Eventually, even though he used a wheelchair, Gabe was able to do exactly what his non-disabled peers could do. He could walk, eat, swim, and dress himself. Gabe was even able to walk upstairs without help. Gabe's attitude was, I can do it, and I can do it with a smile. But not even Gabe's parents, siblings, or friends realized what he was truly capable of until they saw his incredible talent. When he was 12 years old, Gabe secretly taught himself how to dance. Then he gathered up the courage to try out for his high school dance team. His lack of limbs made him an excellent breakdancer, and the team welcomed him with open arms. After Gabe's final school performance, the entire school gave him a standing ovation. It felt great, said Gabe. From then on, dancing became my way to express myself. I was determined to keep learning everything I could. 
Gabe practiced religiously and eventually entered a dance contest, finished in second place, and appeared on The Maury Show in 2017 to dance and share some inspiring words for other people like him who faced challenges because of a disability. That opportunity gave Gabe a career-inspired idea. Now at 19 years old, Gabe has become a motivational speaker who travels around the world to inspire others to create a life worth living. His program, called Limitless, is designed to pay it forward. Gabe is acutely aware that his adoptive parents gave him the opportunity to do something wonderful with his life, and he is deeply grateful for their sacrifices. Gabe's story is one that emphasizes the saying that nothing is impossible. Out of the kindness of their hearts, the Adams couple adopted Gabe, allowing an incredibly empathetic and ambitious young man to thrive and grow under their loving care. But Gabe has returned that love to them as well. Ron Adams emphasized, We thought we were rescuing somebody and giving him a better life, but in fact, it's been just the opposite. He's rescued us and given us a better life. Having him around has been so inspiring and motivating. He's always pushing himself to be the very best that he can be. Gabe's story shows us what we are all capable of, both in terms of achieving our dreams, no matter what, and supporting our loved ones so that they can do the same thing. Thank you for watching. Tap one of the two videos on your screen for another amazing story.